you are just from having fun and on wiping yourself you realize that there is some traces of blood or even the next day you realize that you are seeing blood yet it's not the exact days that you are supposed to be having your menses bleeding after sexual intercourse or what we call postcoitus bleeding what can be bringing the postcoitus bleeding welcome back to the nursing moms i'm nurse janet and in this video here today let's look at the possible causes why you are bleeding after having sexual intercourse it can be something that is worrying it can be something that it's sending an early symptom of something serious and an action must be taken yeah it's not normal to bleed after sexual intercourse let's look on the causes the number one reason why you can bleed after having sexual intercourse is is the changes in your cervix the abnormal growths what we call the cervical polyps actually polyps are non-cancerous that is they are benign in nature they do not change to cancer they are just growths on the cervix that really do not change to be cancerous they are called benign growths on the cervix and again they they are very fragile and very sensitive to touch so when the action will be ongoing there is high chances that on touching these specific growths then you will start bleeding actually if you have cervical polyps there are things that can be easily removed you only need to go and visit your gynecologist do some investigations and actually they can be removed to ease you from this pain of bleeding after sexual intercourse again changes in your uterine lining can lead to bleeding after sexual intercourse these are things that we call endometriosis if you are bleeding easily after sexual intercourse then you need to visit a doctor to rule out if at all you are having endometriosis another good reason why you can actually bleed after having sexual intercourse is what we call vaginal dryness i did a video about vaginal dryness on the causes yeah and the possible complication of vaginal dryness is bleeding after sexual intercourse you will bleed because there will be friction the dryness means that there is no lubrication from a woman yeah and there are several reasons why you will lack this lubrication if you are breastfeeding that is the hormonal changes in your body the kind of contraceptive that you are using if at all you are not well prepared the psychological effect of it all these can lead to vaginal dryness and for sex to be pleasurable there must be lubrication so vaginal dryness can easily lead to bleeding after sexual intercourse due to the friction actually if this is the cause then you really need to identify you why you are having the dryness and correct the dryness appropriately you can as well use lubricant for you to prevent bleeding after sexual intercourse or bleeding during sexual intercourse bleeding after sexual intercourse can be a precancerous symptom actually it can be a symptom of cervical cancer and cervical cancer when diagnosed early enough it can be treated the prognosis can be very good so if you experience any bleeding after having sexual intercourse it can be accompanied by the very many symptoms of cervical cancer that i previously talked about then honey you need to go and visit your physician because remember early diagnosis of any cancer leads to good prognosis or even better management of these moisture diseases genital sores such as herpes can also lead to bleeding after having sexual intercourse yeah so actually they need to be treated the reason why you can bleed after having sexual intercourse is what we call pelvic inflammatory disease if you have a condition known as the pelvic inflammatory disease this any condition it can be bacterial infection sexually transmitted infection the viral fungal any infection that is affecting the female reproductive organ it can be the vagina the cervix the uterus the fallopian tube and it's always an ascending infection mostly caused by sexually transmitted infections yeah you can get an infection like gonorrhea or even chlamydia ascending upwards and affecting even your fallopian tubes so if you have any condition that leads to pelvic inflammatory disease then there is high chances that you will bleed 
after having sexual intercourse. These conditions can be a group of infections or it can even occur as a single infection. It can be the vaginal yeast infections, it can be the bacterial vaginosis, that is a bacterial infection, or, and for you to know that you have a pelvic inflammatory disease, there is some other accompanying symptoms like the discharge will be different, not really the normal discharge. You can have a foul smelling discharge. You can also have the cramping or the constant back pain. If at all you experience these other symptoms alongside bleeding after sexual intercourse, then it's quite advisable that you visit your gynecologist or even your physician to do further investigations because actually most of these conditions are things that are treatable. So you can be treated and once a and in pregnancy, the physiological changes in a woman's body can actually predispose her to having bleeding after sexual intercourse. Remember during pregnancy, there is what we call high vascularization to the cervix. This means that there will be a lot of blood flow compared to the way she was previously before pregnancy towards the cervical region. And this can make the cervix become high sensitive even to touch. So the cervix can easily bleed during pregnancy. Some women do experience bleeding after sexual intercourse during pregnancy. And again, this too needs to be monitored by the doctor. Remember, there is bleeding in pregnancy that cause an alarm. And again, there is that bleeding that is not okay during pregnancy. If you experience any bleeding after sexual intercourse, then it is not okay actually. You really have to visit a doctor for the doctor to do further investigations and identify the main reason or the possible cause why you are bleeding after sexual intercourse. It can be easily managed and again, remember I told you if it's something like a precancerous sign, then the earlier the better. Thank you for watching The Nursing Moms and The Nursing Moms is where we talk much about a woman's health and if you find such like videos interesting or helpful in a way, kindly you can subscribe, hit the notification bell and let's meet in my next video. Bye!